to this now. The audio recording of an alleged confession by accused two will not be used as evidence. Now that's a ruling by the High Court in Pretoria in the trial within a trial in the Senzo Meiwa murder case. The court has ruled that the three-hour recording made by Magistrate Vivian Cronia violated Bongani Ndanzi's rights because he was never informed that he was being recorded. It's said to contain details of how the how Meiwa, the soccer star, was killed, but Ndanzi insists he didn't sign the statement and was coerced into making the confession. ENCA's Mangoba Mkunu filed this report. A crucial ruling that will set a precedent whether a recorded confession by accused number two should be admitted as evidence. This court rules that uh, the audio recording should not form part of these proceedings. It is inadmissible. The three-hour-long confession was recorded by Magistrate Vivian Cronier on the 24th of June in 2020 without the knowledge of the accused. If this court allowed such an egregious flouting and flagrant flouting of accused number two's constitutional rights in terms of Section 35.5, it would not be in the interest of justice to do so because accused number two would then be continuously subjected to a trial unfairly. But while Cronier testified in court that Ndanzi was represented by a lawyer during the confession, Ndanzi has vehemently opposed those claims. It's my instruction that he was not represented on that day and he does not even know Mr. Mchiaku. As that he instruction is, then tell the client not for the truth. If that is your instruction, then your client is not telling you the truth. The defense maintains Stanzi was tortured and coerced into making the confession and wanted ruled inadmissible in the main trial. My instruction before you descend on that box is to tell you that he was subjected to a severe assault, severe torture in four different places before he was brought to you to make such a confession. Advocaat, Can you comment on that? Yeah. Advocate, I advocate that this gentleman uh, made it uh, known to me on uh, several uh, uh, occasions and uh, several ways that he was not assaulted. The trial within a trial continues on Monday. Mangwabam Kuno, Pretoria.